What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Portal 2 Blind. In the last episode... Alright, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor <laughs> son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. <clears throat> As I was saying, in the last episode, we were betrayed by Wheatley, who... After coming into immense power, after replacing GLaDOS, decided, well, maybe we should stay here a bit longer. So now we are down here at what looks like a, an Aperture Labs from many, many years ago. And now we have this repulsion gel puzzle we're supposedly going to be working through. So, I guess, uh, let's give it a go. Repulsion gel was Aperture's first attempt to create a di dietetic pudding substitute. <laughs> It's true, the gel is a sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass insulation that causes subsequently ingested food items to bounce off the lining of a dieter's distended stomach and out his or her mouth for various reasons. This product was pulled from shelves. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> no kidding. I wonder why. Alright, so we've clearly got uh, some portal stuff to work with. There's repulsion gel. I'd imagine... Ooh... So we'd like bounce off of it. Interesting. I wonder why us? Why is it not like bouncing off of the walls and everything? Hmm. I guess it doesn't repel itself. Surprisingly. So the question is, where do we go from here? Ah. I believe I found my answer. So there's a switch up here. That opens this door. So we obviously need something on here. The question is, what? Something through there? No? Maybe... Let's see here. What happens if I, like, jump like this? Ooh. That's fun. So I can press this button. Oh, and I'm gonna have to catch this as it's bouncing around. Right? Oh. No. Okay. So we'll take this and, uh... Yeah. It's pretty straightforward enough. Bring it up here. Leave you just like that, and woo! Boing! I love trampolines. Me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. Exactly. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. Yikes! It uh, it limits the the quality of your evidence, though. <clears throat> Um, okay, so where to from here is the question, presumably up there, maybe, but can I even access a portal? Like is there even one I can jump to? Let's check over here. Oh, this is probably one. Nice. <laughs> All right. I want to see what's over this way before we head back that way, because presumably... Oh, I was going to say I thought that was the way to go, but and it still seems like that's the case. Anything interesting with the phone here? No? No Easter eggs? Nothing? Alright, fair enough. And... I guess we can go this For way. This next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Great. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. <laughs> wow. That's uh, pretty far from ethical, Mr. Johnson. As, as we're progressing through these, t you know, tests... I'm starting to get less and less faith in Mr. Johnson here. I can see where GLaDOS gets it from, is another way of putting it. <clears throat> so there's repulsion gel here, we can probably bounce up here. And with that, we can wait for this platform to fall, and that'll enable us to get some sort of cube, presumably. Yeah, we're starting to see uh, Mr. Johnson be a little bit less professional. You can pick this up. Why is that there? Ah, I see. And... 
presumably... <clears throat> we're just gonna need to go through this portal here. And everything will be fine and dandy. Oh, I didn't make it. Am I not on the repulsion gel? Oh! Oh, I can press control to prevent the bouncing. I didn't know I could do that. That's fancy. Doesn't, I don't know if it makes sense from like a physics standpoint, but from a gameplay standpoint, I can appreciate it. Alright, so now we gotta make our way up there, right? Oh, is that not... I'm confused. So which door does that unlock? We have the cube there, and it unlocks that. Ah. So do I need to... Oh, I see. I keep thinking I need to bounce on it, but my initial jump off of it will do that as well. So I can jump out of here onto the repulsion gel, and then up and over here. <clears throat> and we're still going to need to get up to that exit too, eventually, I'd imagine. But we're going to have to activate this switch first. So let's go ahead and figure that out. <clears throat> Oh man, I feel like there's some shenanigans waiting for us. <laughs> Woo! This is easily the most fun way to get through this room, I'm sure. Definitely not the fastest, but certainly the most fun. <clears throat> we made it, guys. Alright, yeah, I feel like this, uh, this room was simply to introduce that mechanic of bouncing from side to side. So now that that's available, we'll again uh, need to just drop through somewhere. So let's go down over here. All right, let's hope we make it. And we made it. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. <laughs> Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. Wow. I not nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skin. <laughs> Great. Great. You're a little late on that warning there, Mr. Johnson. You know, who who do you get to volunteer for these tests? Do they volunteer? How much do they know beforehand? I have the strange feeling they're, um, you know, not exactly here by will. Their own will, that is. Poor human that has the portal gun. Going through all these tests, betrayed by her friend Wheatley. All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. <laughs> Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 4.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, Alright, so we'll jump down here. Can we use that as a portal? We can. Nice, nice. We have to do some 3D platforming. It's a good thing I'm really good at 3D platforming. Man, I thought I was going to fall there. Do not lean on railing, that's right. This water isn't exactly the most gentle on the skin. So now what, right? I gotta find some place to go. Up there? No. Am I gonna launch myself? How? Why? I guess I can at least take a look from up here. But I'm not really sure where to go, right? Maybe up there is all I can think of? Am I on the ledge? Guess I'm not on the ledge anymore. I guess we can head up there and see what's going on up here. I don't even know if this is where I'm supposed to go, but we'll see if it works. I'm gonna guess probably not. 
Can I jump over this? No, I can't. Yeah, I'm gonna guess I'm not really supposed to be up here. Given that there aren't any other real, like, portal a bowl surfaces that I can see specifically from here. And it's a bit of a dead end. Maybe here? I can give it a go. I like your style. Huh? You make up your own rules, just like me. Beam counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Oh my god. Johnson! <laughs> Mr. Johnson! <laughs> I'm liking you less and less the more you talk. Please. Um, okay, so this button does what? Oh! Oh, it just straight up drops repulsion gel. Where's it going, though? Alright, so where do I want the repulsion gel to go? Probably right about here, maybe? Let's do something like that. Oh no, I just got covered in it! My poor skeleton! Bring on the repulsion gel. Oh my. That's quite the fall. And looking over here, it looks like that's not where I'm supposed to go, luckily. Let's do this. There we go. Alright, bouncing over. Looks like I'm going to need to uh, bounce again up here. We'll do this. Is it going to come back down? No? Oh, okay. I guess that works. So now, from here, what? Portals are gone. We obviously have something that's going to launch us that way. So I need to set up some portals from over here. How high do I need to be going, though? Right? Because I feel like when I look at this, I'm going to need to be moving really fast. Or am I, do I need to launch... Do I need to launch Repulsion Gel over there? Will it even pass through? I doubt it. We'll see in a moment. Oh, it does! Interesting. Okay, so now that we've done that... Now what? <laughs> I feel like, again, that was the intent behind us coming up here. Otherwise, we could not have gotten Repulsion Gel up there. Maybe it's for the sake of perspective? Can always take a look. So now that I have this here, let's see what's going on over this way. Nothing? How is it again? Control? Oh, interesting. Oh, is that how I crouch? That's how I crouch! Oh my goodness, you guys are probably so upset. So now what? Isn't that where I came in to the test? Like right over there? If the exit is over there... I feel like what I'm supposed to do is... Uh... Hmm... I know, don't worry game. Can I portal this area? I can not. I feel like I'm supposed to do the whole, I don't know, get the repulsion gel on the walls and bounce across that way, but I'm really not seeing it. And I do feel like that was the point of going up over here, right? I guess. Because I'm not seeing a lot of areas where I could drop and get momentum to fly over. I guess it's possible with the repulsion gel. I could give it a go. What's the worst that can happen, right? Oh, I was standing in the wall, that's why. 
Oh, but as soon as I go through here, the portals are going to disappear, right? Well, I should still have my momentum by then, right? So, that's alright. Um... Can I make it over, please? Thank you. Alright. So, if I jump over here... What I can do is jump off of this. No, did I touch it? I did. Uh, all right, let's just go around. Oh man, I can't really do that the, the easy way. If we come over here like this, what we can do is set up a portal that we can like fall into with the height of here and see if that works. But honestly, beyond that, I can't really think of too much, so... Honestly, I don't think this is going to work, but we'll see. That did not work. <laughs> but I also think it didn't work simply because I hit the lip of it more so than anything else. So I can't definitively rule that out. So... Here we are again. We'll give it another go. I don't, again, I don't think this is a solution, but it's one of the things I can actually come up with at the moment. And I want to at least rule it out before, you know, definitively moving on to something else. So apologies for those of you that know the solution and are like, no, what are you doing, stupid? All right, let's jump. Oh, come on. What? That was not what I anticipated. Alright, well, I guess we'll walk out and try again. The first time I must have just barely missed or hit the lip of it. And, um... I don't know, fallen onto the, the ledge of it. So, let's see here. Let's do this. Did I fly? Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Oh! <laughs> of course, so why? So of course you bring it up. All right. Well, I'm I'm surprised. I I didn't consider this spot here. I thought we were gonna potentially launch all the way over, but no, nope, it makes sense now. All right. Hopefully, we still have our frontal lobes. I wonder what people look like at the end of all this testing. There's clearly a lot that goes on that happens to these people. Surely they're not aware of it all. And surely it has some negative detrimental effects over time. Dang. Alright. I see we've already got some repulsion gel. Anything behind here? Nope. Okay. Onward we go. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most tiny? It's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. <laughs> what? And what is this? It looks like water? But what's the point? Is it an obstruction, I guess? to getting the gel or whatever over there. I wonder how it interacts with it. We're about to find out. For science! What happens when it goes through this, like, grater? Nothing? Any way to raise it up a little bit? Well, nothing of interest. I think the idea is it's supposed to land on here, but we can't actually put the repulsion gel there while this water is happening. So, what we need to do first is probably get rid of the water. But, how do? But, how do? Is there like a switch or something over here? I'm not aware of? No? Let's see if there's anything over here I can portal to. No? Um, 
Do I just need to move this to the side or something? Surely I can't launch myself from that, right? That's not portalable. And that's not portalable. So what do we do? There's no way it's going to be something from out here. So there's clearly... All of this up here. And I feel like I'm going to have to do that. The only thing I can think of is if I were to change this so it splats like about here. And then launch myself from that. But I feel like that's not going to work because of this graded surface here. But then use that to bounce up or something like that. Regardless, that's all I really have to work with at the moment. So we'll give it a go. Oh, that just went straight up like that. Um... Move it to a little bit to the right then. And... Boom. Alright, so we should have that going. Now... The question is... Oh, could I... No, I'm not going to be able to bounce up there. Although, does it look like I'm getting closer? Or is it just me being crazy? It looks like we're getting closer. Weird. Alright, well... We can try and launch ourselves. Man, that sound effect is going to get old pretty quickly. <laughs> All I can think of is if we were to just kind of like jump into it like... Woo! Oh, that's not going to work. There's no way that's going to work. But, we'll, we'll give it a go. Yep, for precisely that reason. Then... Then what? Maybe I fall onto the bounce pad thing and then bounce... over? I doubt it. <laughs> but we'll see. I don't think it was too bad of an idea, though. I guess if I pace myself a little bit better. I could try and get over that fence. I could also build up a lot of momentum like that. Ooh, maybe that's the maybe that's the move. Is to build up a bunch of momentum. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I was about to have some like speedrun moment where I just completely broke through the game or something. Dang, I really want to. I really want to. That looks really cool. Let's see if I can maybe like aim myself a little bit better. So I've got like that, and then we'll do that. All right, oh man. Oh man, we're going real fast. But I can't really control, I keep end up Okay, here's what ends up happening every time. I end up hitting the front lip of the, the portal, and then I end up going backwards until I can't go backwards anymore. Let's see here. Darn. Alright, we're just gonna do this. <laughs> I feel like that's the, the simple way through this. Is no, no matter where I end up... Whoa. No matter where I end up going, I'll end up hitting the the blue portal dealio can I get up there nah anything vis or worthwhile up there nope doesn't seem so either way it doesn't look like I can get over that rail well that was an interesting thought experiment I guess so clearly the problem is this water How, what do with the water My, is that a button up there? I can't even really see. It is. You guys are probably so frustrated at like, oh my god, he just needs to get over there. All right, we're gonna we're gonna solve this a lot more quickly. I hope you guys enjoyed my little um, escapade there. Oh 
Whoa. That was, uh, not what I had in mind. Oh, it's timed. Wow, that was so much simpler than I had been trying to solve it. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. Trace so, amounts. Word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. <laughs> entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. <laughs> That's too funny. Okay, so we got quite a bit of repulsion gel falling. Let's see. Remember, if a future you tries to warn you about this test, don't listen. <laughs> so it looks like we can, uh, I don't know, get a little bit of perspective from up here. We're going to need probably... Uh, we're probably first going to need to do this. Set up some repulsion gel on the wall there. And then... We can repel ourselves. We boing. <laughs> now what though? We've made it up here. Why is that important? There's a portal area there. Hmm. I don't know. It's not like I can jump over that fence either. Oh, I'm I'm intelligent. <laughs> there are stairs. <laughs> there are stairs, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, safety first. Accidents hurt. <laughs> not accidents happen, but you you will be hurt. Coworkers <laughs> don't hit each other. The company replacements are costly. Science investigations impede progress. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. This is more of like a cover it up than uh actually do something about it. So am I supposed to go down there? Presumably. But why? I'm gonna go down here first. Just to see what's going on. What's the what's the point of coming down here? I supposed to get over there? Or what? I don't I don't know. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? So I started off up there. You're gonna wanna remember that. You can head up. That's clearly somewhere I'm supposed to go. Let's let's do a little bit of scouting, a little bit of recon work. From all the way up here. This looks really just like barren and desolate. I mean, I could just like launch myself there. Right? I could just fall and then... Wait, what? Oh, that's right. That's not a uh, portable service or surface. But am I going to be able to get up there? Um, I can probably shoot that from up here. So let's go back up here. We do something like this. I don't think this is going to end well, though. I'm up here. But again, what did that do, right? Am I supposed to... I feel like I've got to get my way up there. But this is not a portable service. Service. Why do I keep saying that? Surface. <laughs> Um, can I crouch under here? I can! How neat. Is there... There's a surface over here. Again, I feel like this is not intended, but... That's okay. We're curious. Sometimes to a fault. Oh man, now that I can crouch, the whole world is my oyster. Um, Alright, we'll head back out on this side again. 
Again, I don't really see the point, but clearly we're supposed to make it out of there, right? Like, I don't think we're supposed to go back in. I can take a look. I can take a look, I guess. It's not like it's too difficult to get back out here. But, yeah, no, we're definitely supposed to make our way out of there. And presumably up there. Can I... No, oh, that's not a portal... Portal service. Surface. <laughs> All I can think of is just kind of like flinging myself in the air for... To try and see a bit better. I don't know. Like, what happens if, I don't know, I do something like this? And then just, woo! Anything of interest? No. Anything of interest? No. <laughs> Anything of interest? No. This is pretty entertaining, though, for what it's worth. Probably nauseating for a few viewers. So, we'll, um, we'll cut that out. <laughs> Figuratively. I don't really know where I'm supposed to go, guys. I may have to consult the experts on this one. Because, again, I just... I feel like the direction of the game is leading me here. But I don't know where to go from here. Because I don't see a way of making my way up to this little stair area. Do you? I don't see any other, like, portal surfaces, so... Maybe... I also don't even see repulsion gel. I feel like the, the concept is maybe to say, Oh, we could fire repulsion gel through here onto this side here, and then bounce over there. But I'm not even seeing the ability to do that. Right? The last I remember seeing repulsion gel was all the way back over here. We could try to make that work, but I don't think I'm going to be able to... Let's see if I'm able to actually shoot a portal down there. Am I? <laughs> I am. So I bet that's the intended route. Wow. Sorry that took so long, guys. Great. <laughs> Great. Alright, let's fall with all of the might. And we made it. I was like, man, it'd be nice if I had some repulsion gel. But, didn't think I'd have to go back that far for it. Let's see what happens if we go up here. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalks between tests. No kidding. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. A fear <laughs> reaction, just possibly. A bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras. That sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm on a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use work, though. Now let's solve this thing. <laughs> my apologies, my apologies, Mr. Johnson. Okay, so we've got a puzzle here as well. A cube in the center. Presumably inaccessible. Even from below. So we gotta do something about that first. We've got some water here. We can use that to clean surfaces of the repulsion gel. I guess what I'm gonna need to do is bring this down and then use this glass to repel myself onto the platform, I think. Or I could just easily put the repulsion gel here. That's actually a lot, a lot easier. So... How do I get the block? It's bouncing. Is that, is it gonna just break the glass? We're, we're gonna we're gonna back up here. <laughs> it's pretty funny. 
It's clever though. All right. Um. Cube. And we got gotcha. you. All right. You're you're gonna get washed off before you get too out of hand. Literally. All right. Let's place you down here. And that should be good. Let's. Which portal do we have there? Dang, that, uh, that repulsion gel is just coming out. Oh, wait a minute. Now I've got to get rid of it. Hmm. We'll get covered like this. Almost. There we go. Science isn't about why. It's about why not. Why is our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science that you love so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fired? Yikes. Yes, you. Box your stuff. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. Dang. It's pretty, it's pretty clear there's some uh, not-so-hot practices going on here with this science experimentation. Mr. Johnson started off a, a uh, formidable scientist but now it's looking like he's sacrificing a bit too much in his pursuit okay so the music is epic the simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science oh really now founder and ceo of aperture science i thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests we're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready so as long as you keep <laughs> yourself in top physical form there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. <laughs> she is a gem. <laughs> That's hilarious. So interesting. Do we complete the tests? Is that the last of the tests? I think so. All right, then I guess I guess we'll move on to whatever else lies ahead in store for us in the next episode. I'm really curious. I, I really don't know what to expect from the game at this point. We're in such a different environment from the very beginning of the game and, you know, the first game that and we're learning so much about the history of Aperture and we still don't know what's going on, you know, up closer to the surface with Wheatley. So I'm really out of the loop, but I'm looking forward to figuring out more and I hope you guys are too. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero and this mission is complete.